Hey everyone, and welcome to Video Production for Teachers and Professors. I'm Chris DeFreya, and I'm actually not a video production professional. I'm a genetics professor, but for the last few years I've learned a lot about video production. I've produced over 50 of my own videos, and I want to pass on what I've learned to all of you. Now, in the videos that follow, I'm going to teach you how to produce high-quality, great-looking videos for your students, on your own, in your home, or office, using evidence-based best practices for using video to teach. There's no prior experience needed, and you won't need a lot of expensive equipment. What you will need is a willingness to try something new and the resolve to take the video production process all the way through its conclusion. Now, there are three important questions we should address at this point. Are videos good for learning? What are the benefits of using videos to teach? And why should you make your own videos when there are so many already out there? Evidence suggests that videos are good for learning, provided students aren't overwhelmed with information, students are required to engage with the video, and students actually do something where they apply what they learn. Videos can help you flip your classroom, freeing up class time for problem solving, collaborative learning, data analysis, whatever skills you want your students to learn. Videos can also make for a more equitable classroom, allowing students to view the material at their own pace and go back to it if they need to. And if they miss class, they don't have to rely solely on textbook readings to catch up. Using best practices, Video can also help manage cognitive load, making it easier for your students to learn. Also, consider this. You teach the same material every year, and every year you have to prepare to give the same lecture or lesson. But if you make a video, and take care to make sure that it's usable in the future, you can spend less time preparing for class once your videos are made. So, why make your own videos? First, learning is social, and people like to learn from people they know. Your students will be more engaged with a video that has their teacher in it. Second, other people that produce videos don't know your students or their specific needs, but you do, and you can tailor your videos to meet those needs. You can choose what to include or leave out and cover the material at an appropriate level of difficulty. Third, you can make connections with material you covered previously in the class. This is harder to do using videos made by others because they might not cover the topics in your class in the same order. So once again, welcome to my video series. In the next video, I'll give you more information about the three different types of videos I can teach you to make and the different amounts of time and equipment required for each. I'll also give you a little bit of a sales pitch and discuss why I think this video series, which is completely free by the way, is a good way for busy teachers and professors to learn video production. Now, before I go, let me leave you with this thought. Production of high quality, great looking educational videos doesn't have to be limited to elite universities with big video production budgets. We can produce great videos for our students, and we should. Now let's get to work.